Hello, welcome back. We are in the northern waste, <laughs> and we need to speak to the Oracle of Snowspire, New Holloman, Ice Holloman. And to do that, we have to go to the haunted necropolis and get four glyphs that were hidden there. Get destroyed. I'm out of here. And... Yeah, that's where we're going for right now. And then we'll find out what's going on. Oh yes, so I told us to let you in. Well, I guess you better show him through. Yeah, nice try, Mungo. It's your turn, and you know it. Ah, nuts. All right then, follow me. That's as far as I'm going. This place ain't safe, you know. The old town's full of ghosts. Folks say the poor beggars don't even realise they're dead. Anyway, take care looking for them, um, glyphs, they're called, right? You're not the first one that's come rummaging for pieces of carved stone, you know. The others found more than they bargained for, though. Rotting corpses, a lot of them now. Anyway, have a nice day. This place actually kind of freaked me out when I first played it. These are the ghosts. There's one right there. Gold is nice. That one. So I learned the expression. Light of Oblivion. Oh, Summoner too? Come on. I hate you. No blow. I was still too close. Do 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 Will potion. Those are the reasons why. Because of those ghosts. There's a demon door that gives you a powerful weapon. In fact, it's the weapon that you see some of those bandits carrying. Stone of Death. I got it. Yeah. 
people are still here shopping and stuff. See? And they do cri creepy whispers at you. I heard a bell <laughs> Oh, potion. Big beard. Big bead. Big bead wolf. Sweet, more health potions. Stone of Torment. Can't see. Like a town person fleeing in terror. Snow Belverine! No different from another Belverine. Got another one. Wait, how many is it? Is that two? There's no point in checking. Oh wait, you know what? I lied. This is not the strongest armor in this game. There is actually a set of armor that is stronger. It's, it's basically it's the same looking armor, but it's the Archon's armor. And I don't have 25 silver key. I've, if that's even where you get it. Go to hell, puppy! Look at your blood all over the snow. Well, <laughs> oh, that's not it. Drop money. That's nice. Money's nice. <coughs> How the hell do you even get up? Oh, got another one. That's the last one. Well, actually, no, there's one more. Seriously, there's game targeting. 1,000 damage. Holy God damn it.
You have too much health. I did like 3,000 damage on this. Still doesn't die. Until now. You have reached legendary status. I am legendary. Get wrecked! I'll do it again. Never mind. Now I'll do it again. One dead. Two. Maybe dead. Oh, he's gonna blow up. Okay. Way to interrupt sight, Guildmaster. And we're on our way. Do 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 do. Bum bum ba da bum 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 ba bum You have uncovered the glyphs. Very good. It is time we awoke the Oracle from its deathly slumber. Great Oracle, grant us the knowledge we seek. What evil rises in this land? The prophecy is fulfilled. The guildsman is here. You follow the footsteps of the one who bore the mask you carry. Jack of Blades has awakened the dormant power of the Summoner. He has used the blood of your family to feed his new shell beyond the Bronze Gate. But now his soul mask is in your hands. You must use it to feed the Archon's shrine and open the gate. Go now and face your destiny. So Jack has cheated death once more. Never have we encountered a being like him. I do not envy you. The Bronze Gate has long been a symbol of doom in this land. Return to Briar Rose at the Shrine. Perhaps she can tell you how to use Jack's soul mask. I must return to the Guild. May fate smile on you. Could do that. You've received a new quest well, card. are you there? We heard what the Oracle said. Meet me at the Archon's Shrine in the Northern Wastes. 
I've made some progress with the inscriptions. Well, it's not one of these. Not one of these. Now which YMCA? Which one of these is the one I want? Let's use it. The sign of Morik. I shall there we reveal go. to you the legends of this world. I shall tell you about Demon Doors, the life of a rock endowed with consciousness. His net mind is to collect uh -huh. stories. That of Demon Doors is to safeguard the riches that lie. That what I wanted. Perhaps you would like to hear the, the necropolis. The place they call the necropolis was not always a city of ghosts and relics. It was once as thriving as any town, and its people as peaceful and content as any other. Yet, there was one among them who was not so satisfied with this life, and bargained the fate of his city in exchange for wealth and power with entities too powerful to comprehend. The very next day, the riches he had desired were his, but he wasn't able to enjoy them for long. A vast force from beyond this world swept the city and wrought utter devastation so swiftly that the dead didn't realize they were no longer among the living. Some still wander the streets, shadows of their former selves, forever condemned by the avarice of one man. Okay, still not the one I'm looking for. Try again. Ah, it, the ship. When the, the eh, not what I'm looking for. If it's even this in this category, not ballet dance. Why don't I ship? The singing soul one but Mickey unfortunate. The singing soul. Hmm. The gods. Scorp though many worship these so-called gods, the temples to Scorm and Arvo. He uncovered two locations in Albion where the will was particularly. They're not real gods. In one of them. Tended towards good, healing those who stood there. In the other, the trader saw an opportunity. We create a temple. He would create two new temples. In time, people came to believe in the existence of Scorm and false idol. Why don't I share with Demon Door? And we're back to Demon Doors. Okay, so it was in that category. The sign of Kalran. You perhaps Balverine. The first Balverine was born of the bite of a creature far more That's terrible, the, one I'm the Balvorn, who dwelt upon this world when gods and demons were still the primary force. When men first started to walk amongst them, the Balvorn would feast on the flesh of thousands at a time. Only once did a human survive such an attack. He became the first Balverine, and his curse has survived to this day. Uh, I just want you to talk about one thing. Ah, the sign of Yeron. Hmm. Whisper, the people of Albion can be fickle in their affections. Whispers in glorious defeat in the arena stripped her of any repute she may have once possessed. For many, she would never grow out of the immense shadow of her brother, Thunder. And so she left our shores and set out for the distant homeland she had last seen as a child. A sea journey was once again beset with difficulties and her ship was boarded by pirates. None of them survived. She arrived at shores she barely remembered, with nothing 
but our own strength. Yet now, she is beloved as a... She left Albion. Ah, yes. The sign of a... There we go. I shall tell you of the Ark. There we go, that's all I was looking for. This age <laughs> understands nothing of the old kingdom. Archon is a name that has passed down many generations. A lineage of powerful kings united by a unique bloodline and by possession of the Sword of Aeons. When Jack found it, it was a ghost of the weapon it once was. And the name of Archon has become so detached from the realities of those kings that it is meaningless among the modern men. But the first Archon still casts his shadow in this world. A world that would not even exist had he not wrested it from the gods it belonged to before the Age of Man. Well, that right there is another sign of Scythe being the first Archon. William Black. Because he is here. And one of the things we have to be doing soon, he is not involved in because he might not have a soul. Alright. I'm going to pause it. Waste the time trying to get that stupid thing going. And... Wind outside the... Outside. Alright. Thanks for watching. Check back later for the next video. Bye.